What's up guys, Axro here and we are back again with another tutorial. In this video I will show you how to install Forge and where to put mods using the latest version of Minecraft Launcher. So Launcher itself it's a little bit different than previous one and if you're not sure how it works it might be difficult to install mods or play the game I guess. But yeah, if you're not sure how to do those things, just watch this video and you will know everything. And of course, subscribe for more content like that. So now, let's get into this video. Before we start dealing with Minecraft itself, we need Forge. So Forge is needed to run different mods and you can get it from this page. The link is also down below in the description, so if you're not sure how to get to this page, just go to that link. When you're on here, just choose the version that you need for your mod so it's really not important which one you choose and after you're done with it, so for example I will go with the latest one just go down here and choose one of these downloads so I usually go with this one because it works the best and the file comes in .jar version so just give it a few seconds and hit skip button up here and you can see the download start so after the download is done it will probably give you this message so don't worry, it won't harm your PC. Simply hit keep and drag and drop the file to your desktop. So now, as we are done with that, you can close your web browser and go to your Minecraft launcher. So, as you can see, the launcher is a little bit different and you probably have play here and maybe drop up menu. So if you don't have the version that you need for your mod, simply go to launcher options, hit add new, and simply you can choose the different icons up here, name your version and choose the version that you need from the list. So after you got it, hit save, so for example like that, go back to news and you should see the drop up menu, so simply choose the version that you need from the menu. So that's really up to you and after you got it, hit play. This will now download the needed version, so you probably already know that. But we are doing this just to make sure that the version is downloaded so we can install Forge because if it's not downloaded it will give you error so you won't be able to install Forge. So after you're in menu simply quit the game and close the launcher. And now we can run Forge. So double click it and you should see this window. I usually disable this thing which I'm not sure what it is and what it does but for me it's causing some problems so I usually just disable it and hit OK. It probably takes a few seconds to download needed files and you should get this successfully installed message. So hit OK and go back to your Minecraft launcher. Now what you can do is you can do some customizations to the forge so just go to launcher options hit this advanced settings and hit OK. Now you should see somewhere here your forge file. You don't really need to do that but this is needed for later settings which I will show you. So as you can see forge is here and as before you can change the icon, the name and yeah release needs to be the same because this one is the forge one and now what you can do is basically change the Java arguments. So here you can allocate more RAM to your forge, so for example you can give it 4 GB of RAM or even more, that's really up to your PC and if you give it more it will probably work better. So now hit save and let's install the mods now, after we are done with that. So now there are two ways to get to micro fold. First one is you can go to your start and type percent ape data percent and hit enter or you can go to your PC if you can't access start menu and type it up here percent ape data percent and hit enter and as you can see it will take you to the same folder so that's really up to you which one you will choose and now when you have this folder opened you should see dot minecraft on top so just go into it and you should see a bunch of files in here maybe only few it's really up to your minecraft and what you were doing with it before and now simply right click new folder and name it mods. So after you got it like that simply drag and drop all your mods in here and make sure if the version of your mod is 1.11.2 make sure that you have 1.11.2 forge installed because if you will mix the different mods with different versions it won't work so 
1.10.2 will only work with 1.10.2 and so on. And if you won't do that, it will probably crash and cause you some problem. So after you got all your mods installed, simply close the folder and go back to your launcher. So under news, go in this drop up menu and look for forge. So this one is the one that I modified and hit play. So that's basically it and now the game will start. So if you experience any crashes now, it's probably caused because some of the mods doesn't fit your version of Minecraft or there are some other problems with it. And as you can see, I have 4 GB of RAM allocated to the Minecraft. It's not needed, but yeah, later for gameplay it might be needed depends on your mods. Currently I don't have any mods installed because I don't want to deal with them. But yeah, you can do this tutorial with any version and you can see that Forge is installed and it does work. So here it is. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys on how to get your Forge working with the latest version of Minecraft Launcher. And just to show you the map itself, so you won't say it's not working or it's crashing. Um, so yeah, everything is good I guess. And if you have some questions related to this tutorial, feel free to ask them, but make sure not to ask me the questions related to mods because I can't really tell you if mod, I don't know, Optifine works with different versions. So, I mean, sure Optifine works, but there are some other mods that might not work and might not be so popular as other mods. And I really can't tell if that's the one that works. But as you can see, my Minecraft works fine. Uh, it's kind of laggy because I think I have vSense enabled right now. Yes, no. Um, but yeah, basically I'm recording and I need to change a few things so everything will work smooth as it should. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoy watching it and if it does work for you, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching and see you soon in my next video. Stay awesome.